So there he is, huh? Hey. <laughs> so listen, Tony, I know you did a good thing first, and I know you've been lying low for a long time. So I want you to take it easy for a while, huh? Vincenzo will look after you. You need some money? Ask him. You need a job? Lucky he'll take care of you. What more could a family guy ask for? Even my son don't got it so good. But, Mr. Leone, I thought we got history. I mean, I've done a lot for this family. And now you're expecting me to take orders from this, this, this... Well, it just doesn't seem right. Tony, I know what you did, and no one is more grateful than me, honestly. But the idea that you walk in here and start to question my leadership right away is, quite frankly, out of order. Kabish. I understand, boss. So when you need something, give Vincenzo a call down at Atlantic Key. He'll take care of you. Won't you lucky? Of course, boss. Anything you say. Tell you what, we can go there now. I got you a nice little place to stay, Tony. It's got you written all over it. We'll head there first. Yeah, you're all heart. This is it, Tony. Home sweet home. Beautiful, ain't she? This shithole is supposed to be my home? Oh, I think it's very you. Now you're disrespecting old Vincenzo. Now, tough guy, get your ass upstairs and go put on some decent clothes. I don't got all day, so move. Take me to my place. Apartments cost money, Tony. Just you remember who pays the bills around here. Me, Daddy Vincenzo over here. So from now on, you work for me. So I better see you back here real soon. Look out, tough guy. Hey, don't push the tough guy. Hey, mind out, dude. Get off Will Barron. Get a job. You get a move on, oh, man. man. We got a dealer working on North Chinatown, Patch. The lazy bastard ain't brought any cash in in days. Maybe he needs some encouragement to get off his ass and do some work. Acting like a bitch. He kind of reminds me of you. What are you trying to say? I ain't trying to say nothing. I'm telling you to get over there and make sure this asshole starts bringing in some goddamn money. Damn! 
Liberty City commuters have been dealt a hard blow today when transport workers across the city took industrial action in sympathy for beleaguered ferry workers whose livelihoods are threatened by the construction of the new Porter Road Tunnel. Neither side in this battle seems keen to give any ground. Union Chief Jane Hopper said yesterday that she will bring the mayor to his knees before she's licked. More later on LCN. So, Vincenzo tells me you're too chicken shit to work your patch. Hey, man, I'm no chicken shit. I, uh, I've been ill as all. <coughs> I go back to work tomorrow, uh, maybe the day after. Oh, I think you're gonna work today, up, like it or not. Relax. Oh, man, I don't feel too good. I think I might have to see this song. Don't use hard drugs. We hey, we're set up to keep our license. Breakfast. Listen, man. I told you, little bit. Try to tell us don't go for the Leone Jail. This is not for some reason. If I go back there, I'm gonna get you. Oh, be careful there. Oh, oh man. Excuse you. Excuse me. Excuse me. You got a problem? Blame the police. Oh, man, listen to me. You got some work to do. All right. Oh, sure. Sure. I'm telling you, man. This is Doc was a dealing. I would do it three or four times a week. My friends thought I was really into water slides or theme parks. I'm so ashamed. Now, Chris, when you look at man playing golf, what are you thinking, boy? Sticking that ball in the green, huh? Huh? I mean, which bit do you enjoy? The game or the shower afterwards? It's time to get some value. Who made you God? Why are you acting like the Supreme? Hey, there. Uh, the firelighter's here right now. I've got some, I've got some road flares and a bottle of paraffin. You want me to set you on fire, Chris, do you? Do you, boy? You ever seen any movies about being on, boy? You ever seen any? You better start thinking and stop stinking. With the collector who has everything, now you can own a piece of our heritage that really means something. It's a taste of history with old horsey. A genuine replica authentic working prohibition era domestic music bathtub gin steel. Relive the humor, entrepreneurial spirit, and tradition of the glory days with a beverage that built a nation. Whether it's ruckus juice, alley bourbon, skull cracker, white lightning, or mama's medicine, no matter what you call it, the old horsey bathtub gin still never ceases to delight. With old horsey, alcohol is the solution in more ways than one. You can not only take the pain away of daily life, but also put it to... Vinny! Can we get a move on, please? Yeah. Uh, cry it out loud, Tony! Don't I get any peace? Oh, I'm already all blocked up. Last thing I need is you on my case. Uh, but it's just still here. You know, I'm still not seeing any money coming in from that dealer. You know why? Enlighten me. Because he's dead, I'm idiot. Some chump day. whacked him. Sindacos have started dealing. And on Leone Turk, too. You gotta accept that, Tony? I want you to get over Ooh. to Chinatown. All right, boss. I'm on it. Move! I gotta oh. get to the show! God, why is there never any goddamn paper in here? Come on, tough guy, move! I'm starving here! 